Good there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mogulover, and which we're still playing with a sub-mod called The Exile. But I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go with the path of exile or a reconciliation. And overall, there's a lot of support for both sides, but there's a little bit more support for... Reconciliation. So we'll go down this route, just because, as some people did say, you know, there's, there's more support for that side anyways. Um, this actually has more stuff here, so send the veterans home. Andronikos, or actually, as someone did pr say in the comments of the last video, how to pronounce his name. And Ron Ikos. And Ron Ikos. And there we go with that one. So, stay true to the Brotherhood's mission. Well, we'll see what happens. And we do need to talk about that as well. But, let's see. There's literally nothing else, else we can do here. So, we selected the decision. Stay true to the Brotherhood's mission. Permanent exile. Um, besides this stuff, is there anything else we can do? I guess not. I don't mind getting some more PP right now. PP is kind of actually really nice to get. But and we want to talk about the Vertebergs and the power over tradition. So overall, as earlier stated, this one, overall, there's a little bit more sport for power over tradition in which we're using advanced power armor. So when we go back and play this mod again, which I'll bring up in a little bit as well, we will go ahead and do vertebrates, for, but for now, we will get power over tradition. The Brotherhood has strictly forbidden the use of advanced power armor, the power armor used by the Enclave. Now we possess the plans to create this power armor thanks to the fouls found in the vault. Uh, ooh, his name, Andron Ikaus, has decided it was time we discard the taboo of old and embrace the power this armor holds. Doing so would be costly, however. And that's okay, so hopefully we get some sort of event here, so that we can do either one of these two. Obviously it says sending the veterans home. If we're in exile, well, the, ooh, we've been betrayed. Well, I guess I'll have to wait and see then. Mutual exclusive. New arrangement. If not, if it doesn't happen, we'll do the Grand Crusade first as well. But what we're going to do is probably try to, if I have to use, use console commands. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'll leave some time for us to figure things out. Well, would we actually be able to defend against these guys? We actually might be able to. How many divisions does Big Mama Miserable Morale to have? Mm, that's quite a bit. Uh, how long would it take for us to justify on these folks? Ten days. That's not bad. I think I still want a few more divisions first. Let's go to that one. Thank you very much. There you go. Go and let them train. Get them at least to be regulars and a Grand Crusade. We can no longer deny it. The Crusade and Ron Ikaos started has become its own entity. Those who have committed to the crusade have a new level of devotion so high they would gladly walk into battle knowing they face their death. We shall use them as a sword which shall gut any foe we swing at. Even more attack and defense? Nice, which will come in handy when we go to war with these guys. But we do have a lot of PP, which is actually very good, and we have everything cored so far. Which means we're going to need all this PP to do all this stuff up here. So, how do we cr proclaim the Empire of Steel? The Maul? Isn't that up north? Yeah, it is. So, Crow's Haven? Yep, that's what's over there. And Bend Rally. That's the one I... Oh, yep. Yeah. So, basically, we need these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys. So, we're going to have to... Ooh. We get cores on all that stuff? Maybe? Yeah, we get cores on all the lands we've conquered to create a new empire. Not bad. So, in the meantime, we'll go to war with these guys, and we'll go to war with these guys, and have a good old time. Alright, are we at least at regular yet? Or super close? Super, super duper close. Cool, we'll do that one. Fall off the back are nice, and... Um... Eh, we're stuck because we could probably use it for the power armor. We have a lot of PP. We love it. Uh, we could raise a conscription level, but we're going to wait. Decorate a hero. Uh, that wouldn't really help us out too much, but a Grand Crusade. So... Um... You know what? How about this? Let's go to war. Let's figure out what they want. We might do okay. We might not. We'll see what happens. Ooh, we have a ship. And it seems like... You probably can't hear it, but Flalok just died. So we got enough organization. Let's just go and justify and see what happens. Can we actually win on defense against these guys? Hopefully. At least that's the plan. One division there is not super strong, but you know what? That's okay with us. Five days left, and we'll go to another conflict. We love conflict here. How many factories do we have? Do we need any more factories? Yeah, we could use more power. Oh, a scavenge power armor. No wonder what you guys overall selected. More of you guys selected for us to get normal power armor. Oh, big baby boys. Could you, could you actually win here? That'd be nice. That would be quite nice. Can you guys do anything about this? Yes? No? Perhaps so? How many more planes do we got? Not enough. Correct. That is always the correct answer. Never enough. Well, we're doing okay. Y'all could actually probably push into here. We got some dinamite, which is nice as well. And what else do we want? 
Focus fire, grenade rifles, heavy incinerators, grenade machine. Oh, go with frag grenades this time. That seems somewhat appropriate for like the Brotherhood. We're not going to be barbecuing these guys. We're just going to be exploding them. You guys still might actually be do, able to do really, really well. And we did that too. Very, very good. You might be able to do that as well as they're weakening themselves, which is very bueno. Very incredibly bueno. We could try a general attack, but we don't have that much manpower. I guess we could try an attack here, but that probably won't go super well as well. Actually, you guys just go straight on in too. There you go. That's actually not too, not too bad. That's fine. You want to go in there too? Hang out at the territory. That's fine. That uh, is a-okay. Now we've linked up with a group here too, which is not bad. Uh, you might as well push in. They weaken themselves to the point where you might as well just go, Hello, goodbye, and they have no ports. There you go, and train. Indefinitely, and make sure they have a port, because we love naval speed that we'll probably never use for this campaign. Hmm. And circle ones, one, two, three, perhaps? Yes? No, maybe so. One, two, three. And then go uno, dos, sometimes not trace, though. And then you go there. See what you can do. And once they're in there, that'd be great. You help support the attack and hang out. Cool. And you're going to go in there as well, as well as you. And then you guys can help support the attack. Because while this isn't very much, that's okay. Yeah, don't, don't let them get in circle, guys. Please. Please. Thank you. Come again. Nice. Alright, now we can do an encircle command and kill them off fully. Muy bueno. Alexander, Paladin Alexander, you are definitely going to be getting not that. Well, we do need some infantry here still. Let's, so let's go with... Yeah, they're already good. Rooted. Nice, there we go. At this point, let's get everyone on the line and we'll just do a general attack with the air superiority we have. Let's see if we can try that now. Not bad, and then we'll do Arroyo. Thumbs up from us. And then we'll have to manually court Arroyo territory, but that's fine. Wow, actually 75 days. Compared to 10 over here? Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, this is going to make our line with these guys really large. Hmm. That's alright, though. How many men have we lost? 80 versus 1,000. That's pretty good, I'd say. Other comments include, make your entire army power armor? I'd love to. I would really love to, but we cannot. Back in the olden days of Old World Blues, we were actually able to. But since a particular update, we, were, we can no longer do that. However, there are mechanics in the game that some nations, a few nations, can do that depending on what you can get researched and unlocked and basically have like what can command modules which is basically unlimited power armor with all with similar stats not exactly the same stats but for this campaign unfortunately as far as it stands it looks like we cannot do something like that so that's why we still need infantry here uh we cut off so many of them but nearly not nearly enough it's very weird maybe it's bugged off screen i'll, I'll probably go ahead and fix this but that's fine well we'll just go down this route for reconciliation us. Then again, I have a theory. No, they're not dead yet. They should still exist. So we'll see what happens. I might I mess mess around with this off screen. So actually, I will mess with it. But we're done with the land doctrine. There you go. Boom. This actually might be a very short campaign. And let's do that too, because we do have enough. Cool. What are we gonna do with our power armor? We want to go straight to Arroyo and go wee like that. Cool. I don't want to core this stuff because we get cores on them eventually. It wouldn't make any sense for us to. How many caps do we have every quarter? Now, Royal would give us another trade, which is very good. We are on historical, so I don't want to piss off the NCR too much. Crimson Acolytes would be good, and then getting to maybe Vault City could be a good objective next. But happy 2279, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Triplane attackers, I'm going to bomb loading crap out of them, since we can't even get uh, vertebrates for this campaign, but at least advanced power armor. Probably we can, can get. How much PP do we get every day? Wow, 2.45. That's actually really good. Devout Warmonger? Hmm. We'll go with that one. And this one is not bad. Uh, research speed means nothing eventually. Factory output really means not too much to me either. And I don't want to lose group population. Do that one. And Brother Subscribe, might as well. And then you guys, might as well. Okay, cool. And might as well do some more propaganda as well. Guys with power armor, form a nation. Yes, we will eventually. And here we go. They don't look super strong, which is great. And then we'll go to war with these guys. Ten days, thank you. Let's go. How many divisions do they have? Up to ten, which... 
Well, Western Brotherhood of Steel, that's not good. Please, let us know what you want to do first before you do anything else, please. Well, Royal felt actually much more quickly than I thought they would. I thought they'd be a little more difficult. I remember when I was playing, what was this, this mod, Old World Blues, by a special, unique, like, it was a Royal Focus Tree mod, and that was pretty darn OP in terms of political power, like almost three a day, or maybe even three a day. That was a lot of fun, actually. Hey! You can go to War them now. Yay! 910, huh? 83% of total effective manpower. Other comments include, this is definitely an in Byzantium influence BOS. Yeah, brother. Actually, I was looking up information about, like, what we should call an intelligence agency, which overall, you guys recommended, well, a couple different things, but we went with the Steel Crusaders. Other names that you guys did come up with included the, the Shadows, Sons of Byzantium, Steel Crusades, we went with Steel Crusaders, Broken Steel, Short Shattered Steel, the Golden Equal, which was also very heavily inspired by the uh, Byzantine Empire, so... Very cool stuff. Very, very cool. Yeah, I actually looked up that what's well, our guy's name. Um, and Oronikos is, is actually a Byzantine emperor, I believe, so. That's actually really cool. Really cool. I I knew it was, you know, very Byzantine em Empire inspired, but I didn't know that name was. I knew that was pretty Greek, but Yeah, what do I know? What do I know? A few things. Maybe not useful things, but some few things. Cool. Let's grab some raw but because we definitely probably need some more power armor. Hmm. Are we ready to have a good time? Probably. Give them about five more seconds, because I do want to use these power armor effectively. And three, two, I said five seconds, I didn't count, so, oh well. And let's go here. And they immediately attack us. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, you guys go up then. Oh, they're actually really doing quite a bit of damage to us. If that's a case. Are they gross attacking us? No. But that's alright. You guys keep going. Oh, you guys are getting attacked as well. Oh, yeah, you are just getting hammered right now. That's okay. How much manpower does uh, the Crimson Acolytes have? They have quite a few divisions, actually. Oh, man. They're a little stronger than I thought they were. Usually they're not too strong, but hey, you know what? I guess I made a mistake there. Oh, well. We'll do okay. Throw another division in, and we should be okay-ish. They want to do stuff like this? No, sir. No, 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 no. There you go, nice. Keep finding the way. Keep finding there. Come on, one division is not enough. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is cracking. Oh boy, I'm going through second puberty. Hope not. No, hold, hold all you guys. Hold yourselves. Because no one else is going to hold you, apparently. Let the power armor do the job. I don't want to lose too much of, your infant of our infantry because we only have so much manpower. Which means we're probably going to have to raise this up. Senior Knights? Yes, please. After these guys, we will go to war with the Cyclops Tribes? Yeah, might as well. Let's go and get to Vault City. Get another trade node. Takes 60 days anyways. And we got enough PP anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Thank you very much. And actually, by doing this with Paladin Vatinius, we'll actually do pretty darn well. Let's see. I have already addressed, this, as someone said in the comments, how to pronounce his name. Andronikos. And apparently, our capital is Cap Novos, but this is not Tartarus. It's not like Tartar sauce. It's uh, Tart Arus. Tart Arus, apparently, according to you guys. Cool. I'm learning a lot. This is what I always recommend. Like, <clears throat> or at least I sometimes try to recommend. Guys, if, you, if, if I mispronounce things, and I often do, please let me know in the comments below. Like, I don't want to mispronounce things too often. Unless I'm trying to make a joke or something. So, if I say something incorrectly, feel free to correct me. All right. I think we're doing pretty darn well, considering that they have... Well, they have maybe up to 50, maybe. We're about equal in terms of divisions. We did, we did kill a lot of them off. That's pretty darn nice. 10,000? Oh. The Western Brotherhood always dies. That's always so sad. Now we can't figure out what, what they're going to do to us. Well, we're going to go down this way anyway, so hopefully we'll get the mission unlocked. If not, we'll do whatever we can. We'll do the best we can. And at the very least, form the state of Oregon, or at least something very close to it. Uh, if you want to help us out here, guys... There's a total of five divisions over here that need to die. Thank you very much. Kimalt Station is a beautiful place. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Someone said that this is basically Burgundian system Byzantine Brotherhood. Now, that'd be kind of wild. I Man, every time someone says the word Burgundy, or I see the color purple sometimes, I'm just like, Burgundy from TNO? It's a problem. It's a big problem I think I have. I think I'm absorbed in the community. Well, maybe not the community, but at least the mod itself. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, let's not talk about the community. Anyways... <clears throat> Now, let's see. Apparently, someone said, Control-left-click means assign units to the front. I never knew that. 
And obviously, apparently, I never do that because you always, you guys always saw that. I just manually do it anyways. Control left click. Actually, this is a perfect opportunity. Oh no, wrong one. So whoever said that, thank you. Actually, I really appreciate it when you guys teach me or, yeah, basically teach me the console commands, um, slowly. Because I only, I can, I learn a little slowly sometimes, depending on what it, what it is. Sometimes I learn very, very fast. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, like the way words are difficult. If you don't give me too much to focus on at a moment in time, then I do pretty well with learning stuff. So left control, I'm go probably going to get reminded of that in the future, but it's totally fine with me. Like, I didn't even know that before. So great. And also, someone said, if you want to split your units, just press S, so like that. Wow. Thank you for the hotkeys, because I probably would have never looked them up myself. <laughs> Thank you. Heavy Trooper Mountaineering Tactics? Yes, please. Yeah, I'm glad we're raising our conscription levels, but we'll definitely core. Can we go this yet? No, it'd be too much. No. Actually, let's come over here and do this as well. More defense, get some anti and stuff. Lightweight mills are very nice. A royal first, because why not? And monoplane fighterinos. And are we good to go? And then we'll take out... Oh, Vault City still fighting those guys? Oh, 80s. How are the 80s doing? Are they allied with anybody? The plunder of Eastport. They've... Oh, you know what? Let's go to war them. We could probably do well against them. We might be able to save the Mormons, too, maybe, if we were fast enough. Nice. I'm feeling pretty good about this campaign. Yeah, the modifiers we get are actually pretty darn strong for us. Unassimilated refugees, followers with influence with the Grand Crusade, plus 10% more attack and 10% more defense. Super nice. Super nice. <clears throat> I wonder if we could bait the agents into attacking us if we just use power armor on the front line. That would probably be a bad idea. But that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, yes, please kill them all off. Oh, yes, we love it. Uh, but I'd love it even more if you actually went in and killed them. Clondex, yeah, guys, please. Guys, please. Please. There you go. Now we got him. Oh, darn it. We couldn't see how many we killed off. Cool, but we'll see what we can do next. And here we are, everyone, in which we are now at war with the 80s because... Why not? We love those numbers. But, um, as you can see, they've just started attacking us. I've literally just got... Oh, god dang it. Well, I've just got a war with them. And obviously, and apparently we can't see um, the, how many divisions they have. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, 9 to 12,000 manpower. That's not bad. 39 divisions. Up to 29 divisions. So, it looks like we're doing pretty darn well. So, enemy agent turned nice. And two sons are captured. Cool. Oh, the same guy. We captured him and he's been turned. Nice. Um... Couple other things. Off screen, I did go ahead and try it, in which I wanted to see what would happen when we go with reconciliation and send home the veterans. Part of the problem is, though, even like before they died, the Western Brotherhood of Steel is dead. So they're gone now. And even before they died, we still weren't able to do anything with them. So we're definitely going to use cons commands, but I'd rather use cons commands in front of you guys to show you what we're exactly going to do. And, uh, yeah, we'll do that, though, as soon as this war is over. And apparently, the Vault City did perish as well. And I can't remember how you call people who love Byzantium too much. And they're called Byzaboos, according to your comments. So, thank you for your comments. You guys keep me on track and remind me of things that I sometimes need to be reminded of. Let's get the power armor in here. And then we'll do probably just a general attack. Because we did, or were, able to throw in a few, not a lot, but a few, planes. Especially triplanes. Ooh. Or uh, monoplane attackers, I mean. Monoplane attackers. So, boom, boom, boom. And there you go. Just throw them all on those guys. That's fine for now. And we'll throw you right there. Very nice. Give it about five more seconds. They're not going to attack us again. Can we actually win doing this? Yes, 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 yes. Not bad. Really not bad. Uh, we're still we're actually missing a lot of power armor still. And we're still trying to build more civvies, which is nice. But I guess it's time for some of this. There you go. Cool. Thank you. Air Force Department. Thank you very much. And yeah. Okay, this is really easy. Holy crap. I love power armor. Don't get me wrong, but... And don't, and don't get me wrong, I don't like having too much of a challenge. I don't mind some challenges, but I'm a guy who likes to keep it pretty pretty normal. Pretty normal? Pretty smooth. Well, sometimes. Except for my speech. Apparently I screwed that up a whole lot. But it doesn't matter. I just wish we could see how many casualties we've inflicted. We said 9 to 15,000 manpower, right? Or something like that. And there goes those guys. We will go to war, like I said, Vault City next. So, and But we'll do the whole thing. Just I wanted to wait and see, honestly. Like, with this whole focus tree thing... I wanted to wait and see how far or how much we could go th through this. So, it's looking like we're going to have to use cons commands anyway. So, it's unfortunate I don't like using cons commands. But, 
C'est la vie, and that's most of the French I know, except Monsieur Mokolover. Monsieur. I'm probably saying that wrong. Un, deux, trois, tres, quatre, cinco. No, that's not. That's not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know French very well. I forget everything I learned in high school. Then again, that was over ten years ago. Oh well, whatever. We're still getting two point three nine political power. Not bad. Let's keep doing some of this stuff. So yeah. Oh, Paladin Vatinius was wounded. All right, and we also hired a guy named George Hampton. I wonder if he has a string of hotels. It doesn't sound very Greek to me, but you know I could be very wrong. Actually, how's the air damage going or combat? They have a few barrage balloons. Not too bad. Not too bad. Two fifty one. It's not too bad. Wait. Or maybe it's just new music. I don't know. That sounded very weird to me. Very good. And I'll grab some of that too. Field Surgery Doctrine. And they'll grab some Marksmanship ship Doctrine next. Great. Yeah, this this song... I'm sure you guys probably can't hear because my audio is usually too soft. Yellow Rose of Texas. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a short one. Pretty short, actually. Which is fine. You know, it is what it is. Totally fine. Whatever. I'll probably have to go to war with the White Legs because they might demand the territory here too. Ah, good. Economic research is so good. We might go to war with the NCR too. Actually, we probably will end up going to war with them since they did take out the Brotherhood. So, yeah. Neighbor Department. Army Department. Thank you. We love more territory. Ah, very good. Yeah, I wish we. I really wish we could learn how many units we've killed off. Well, we're doing very, very well here. Very well. Man, how much territory do we need to take? We took it over all the core territory. Now, well, I guess this might be core, yeah, but like their normal starting territory. Because this is Ruby Valley Refuge territory as well, so. Honestly, I think there's only one more episode in this campaign. I'm not really sure what to do besides forming the Empire of Steel, which is going to be a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure what's left. Uh, we don't really need to do any of that stuff either. War propaganda. Like, no, we're already pretty good as well. I mean, we could do it one more time, maybe. We have so much PP anyways. Uh, new system care package. I'd rather do military stuff to get more soldiers, maybe? So, and there go the 80s. That's probably one of the easier times I've taken out the 80s. Uh, I will say that sometimes it can be incredibly infuriating taking them out. Because sometimes they find a lot of manpower, but when you have power armor, it's just so nice taking them out sometimes. Power armor just makes things too easy sometimes. And I'm not saying the devs should nerf it. No, 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 no. But it's a lot of fun using power armor. Cool. And when you go to war by April 22nd, so some more comments. So what happens if we send the boys home? So basically that was one of the comments saying, okay, what happens? It'd be cool to, you know, create your own brotherhood with, you know, power armor and hookers and strippers and stuff like that with permanent exile. But since we're going to go down this way, um, a lot of people are wondering what happens. In which basically this unlocks this path, send the veterans home. Uh... And Ron ich aus, uh, no longer leads expedition, which will fire anyways because I've because I've actually fired that off screen already. I already know what happens, but uh, cool. All right, so we're actually getting quite a big border with the NCR. I'm not sure if we should really keep that. We should probably oh, children are in the gate though. Probably white legs actually. Let's go white legs. And then the Mormons, just because if you take out the white legs, the Mormons will want to come fight you for their territory eventually too. I think. Oh, we're actually losing against those guys. I guess it's one d one. I mean, what do you expect? I suppose. Um. Then again, I can see why their strength is going down. They're doing last stand. They literally stood there until they all died. Not bad. Let's do it again, huh? Let's do it again sometime. Oh, they actually have this. Hmm, that's weird. As their core territory, huh? Well, or the capital. That's very odd. Keep going, guys. Y'all doing great. Great, great. And Garrison's next. Awesome. Go down here and split them, in. Split them up. There you go. Now these guys should definitely be starving for supplies relatively soon-ish. Never mind, they're dead. Awesome. Long-range radio, thank you. Ooh. Well, this person's A and L. Savage leader. Uh, hmm. We well, might just want to go with a new field marshal. Wilburn Chapman. Well, what does this person have? Reckless. Less division. Oh, that sucks. More speed, though, is not terrible, but... Eh, whatever. It's fine. Let's go with Pain Train, because he's going to be uh, an inspirational. And then we'll do Savage Leader next, because he's just going to be leading the power armor the entire time, which will be nice. Are they doing a border war for... The ter okay, I guess they are, huh? Do not forget that? That's open territory, too, but I don't really care too much. These guys should take a lot of losses. How strong are these guys? 11,000 manpower, 75... Eh, that's not bad. What do we have over here? Vault City. That's not too bad. That's very good. 
And nothing for money. Okay. Or nothing. Yeah, nothing for military stuff. Okay. Fuel injection, and then we'll probably go with industry. Let's get some more output, because we could always use more power armor, right? Yep, always need more power armor. And since we're doing that, bingo was his Nemo. Lots of this for now, because we'll have to go to war with Washington Brotherhood as well, so. And these guys are suffering against some guys. That's fine with us. You guys just go straight on in. We'll be fine. It looks like they're missing equipment anyway, so. We're going to save the Mormons, and then probably get rid of them ourselves. So bad. All right, not bad. Uh, raiders from Sky... It's always a Sky Reavers, man. I hate the Sky Reavers so much. We have such a huge territory, huge land border with the NCR, which is probably really bad. So we'll need to make quite a few more divisions for this. Which is going to cost us more, but whatever. It is what it is. You guys are still getting attacked, which is fine to let them not attack for now, so... If you can cut those six divisions off, that would actually be... Yep, there you go. Nice, 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 nice. Go ahead. Get those airplanes in the air. Yeah, that's where they belong. Airplanes belong in the air, probably. Um, We want inspiration. We want awareness already. You have another upgrade. I might say this terrain. That'd probably be for the best. Don't really need to make anything else here different too much, really. Yeah, we're going to wait for terrain stuff. We usually learn about terrain difficulties and issues and stuff like that eventually. There you go, keep going. These guys are doing pretty hard on well too. I mean, they're trying to go up here too, but we don't really care too much, do we? Nah. Oh, we need more manpower. Oh, yeah. Well, Maserat is conscription level up again. Well, maybe... Well, we do need to go to war with the Mormons. We should be fine. Um, we do need to go to war with these guys in the Timberline. I guess we'll go to war with these guys really next, really, yeah. How many divisions do they have? If it's going to be this easy against... Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, we fought way bigger people than that. So, after this, we'll go to war with the brother. Uh, but Mormons... You know what? Mormons, hello. We love you, Mormons. We really do. But good luck. A three-way war here. That's fine with us. Um, would y'all like to come to Panguitch? And these guys are going to die. Yay! I don't know why. I just got a feeling I want to play some Fall of New Vegas. I want to go gamble again. That was a lot of fun, actually. Doing that in the game was a lot of fun. Gambling. When your luck is like 10 or like at least 8 or something. You can almost... You can win so many caps, it like makes it not fun anymore. Because you just win every time. Okay, oh wait, hold on, hold on. How many divisions do they have? Less than 1,000 map art. Up to, okay, up to 17. It looks like they have none, but... Not bad. Infantry, are you doing a good job? Let's hope so. We don't want to hire losers. Because we're all exiled out here. There you go, keep going. Man, back in my day, the Houston Rockets had a unique focus tree. Actually, they still might. But it was it was removed at one point. <sighs> oh, they're gone. We can't even check anymore. Wow. There goes Santa Ana. Alamo chapter's looking not too bad. The Ironmongers be, do be looking kind of thick, though. Did I, I have played as Ironmongers. Was it Shields Army to play as? I can't remember. There, you can have some money. Paladin Alexander looking pretty darn cool, actually. So. Oh, wait. I did say after the war we would do that one thing. Justify, we probably can. Yeah, 75 days we have some time. So, yeah, not bad. Keep going, guys. We took New Canaan. Old Brigham's next. And how much manpower does they have left? I need to play as a Jeremiah Rigdon. Oh, the Mormon Alliance. Because I played as him once. And I need to go fully decadent. Didn't I think it next time is him? I can't remember. If you remember, when I played as New Canaan after they got their update. Because I played as him bef before they got their update. Did I go full decadence? Or did I not? I can't remember. Please let me know in the comments below. Because I actually might consider playing as him relatively soon. At the time it's recording, like, in a few weeks after this video goes up, maybe? We'll see. We'll definitely see. I can't... Time is of so limited. Just incredibly limited. These guys aren't looking very good for us, too. But I think it's time for us to address this issue, just because I don't think this is going to fire, since it might be bugged, as well as the Brotherhood is dead. So, reconciliation. Um, how do you say his name? And Ron Ikaus is broken, but he still sees reason. He's agreed to return to a quiet life back in the Lost Hills bunker. As for the rest of the expedition, the Brotherhood has decided to continue the mission up north, assuming control over most of the operations. And you can see I've already done this once, and... Okay, so we have to use consequence for this. Thank you. A new arrangement. And... Andronicus 
has decided it was time for him to come home, or go home, even if it meant never stepping foot outside Lost Hills again. With his decision, the Council of Elders has determined the expedition should continue given the resources put into the project. The Lost Hills chapter will now assume direct control over the expedition, but have chosen Paladin Jaeger, a less ambitious candidate to oversee the expedition. With peace in the region for now, the Lost Hills chapter must now decide their next move, but the influence of the expedition has begun to spread. This has only made a stronger ad victorium. And which we actually become a puppet of the Western Brotherhood. And will be known as the Northern Expedition. And, okay. And which we change our flag. So it's actually kind of cool. The gold and the purple. Very cool. And actually, that's really cool. Paladin Jaeger is cool as well. But there, so much for our leader and Ron Ikos. But since, actually, we probably don't need this anymore, right? They've both been disabled. Good. Send the veterans home. There are still men who have been with the expedition since the beginning. They have seen the battles waged, lessons taught, and sacrifices made. It's time for them to head home, but take those experiences back with them. They, they get Simon, Simon Amos. Oh, he's gone now, but whatever. Um, yeah. Good luck, guys. We're going to need up here. Doesn't look like we have a lot of air bases. Go ahead and train, too, since we're waiting anyways. You guys train. I don't really care. They might actually naval invade us, but I don't really care. Uh, oh, wait. Are you already training? You probably aren't. Um, actually, yeah, we don't have really that many air bases up here. Go two, go two, and go two at least. And then you guys will come over here, and I'll separate you out just a wee bit. Oh, no, no, no. I want to use that what the person said earlier. Press S. Don't manually do it. That's not cool. And control click. Oh, there we go. Thank you for teaching me the errors of my ways. And then, oh, control. It's so much faster. Thank you. Those hotkeys. I'm sorry for earlier. Like, my pronunciations and mental capacity apparently it was very limited at the beginning <laughs> and it still is but like don't get me wrong i'm still sort of here but at this point let's take out the mall which is weird we don't need any anything like william at or any of this territory down here at all uh so it's actually very weird we don't need that especially considering we need the mall to form the empire of steel so i don't know and make we need that but we don't need any of this territory so oh well now let's see Someone says we should take Beaverton and Hillsboro. Apparently someone's from, like, Oregon, in this part of Oregon, so... Is Beaverton... Beaver... Bears Flat? No. Hillsboro. Oh! Well, well, there's Hillsboro in Texas. Not in Oregon right now, but, hey, we'll do the best we can. Economic resurgence. Oh, look at that. Alexander? Yes. Um... Side channel tech is very good. What else do we have here? Anything else? These guys do have a little bit of recon on them, right? 3.4? I guess we just max it out. You might as well, right? Oh, let's get that one too. Well, field maintenance training. I never use a lot of side to expand how many numbers we have over here. Never ever use this. But at least we'll continue down with our focus tree. So after this, we need to choose lessons from Oregon versus the true enemy. So I think for now, since we're kind of on our own, I'm going to do lessons from Oregon because we've been up here for so long. So when we play this mod again, please remind me to go down the true enemy because the next time we're just going to kill everybody in the wasteland. A natural byproduct of the expedition has also been a great deal of knowledge gained, not just militarily, but also in how to build a nation. The scribes sent with us will now serve as advisors to the Council of Elders back home in Lost Hills. Oh yeah, we are technically a puppet. Oh wait, does that mean we can't- Oh, we can't go to- Oh, crud. It does say we're a puppet. Mm. I might have to mess around with this a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to mess around with this just a little bit to make sure we're no longer Puppet. Alright, everyone. So, basically, all I did off-screen was release the Brotherhood over here. And now the West California State NCR Territory Administration. And which means, basically, now we're not their Puppet. We're by ourselves. And we can go to war whenever we want. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. This is very weird. Maybe I should have done, actually, in the end, the true enemy. Andronikos was right. No matter how much we try, the NCR will always pose a threat to our sovereignty. We will most be prepared to attack the bear for it is us or them. But, oh well, whatever. It is what it is. I've kinda, I feel like I've screwed up a little bit here, but, oh well, you know. We'll still do the best we can and probably still kill them off, but. Game? Yeah, do you not recognize that we have factories? Okay, whatever. <clears throat> but we should do okay against these guys. We should do, right? This, oh, why is Port Mall looking so bad? Yeah, we're going to get hit pretty hard by these guys. We have a lot of PP. Wow. But it feels good actually doing another focus. Oh, wait. Were we supposed to be able to core this stuff? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, that's all right, though. Telemanook. Are we still mobilizing? 
Oh, we are. Mobilizing? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Grab some more of that, too, because we can. All right, then. Oh, get some more divisions, which will come in handy. Yes. I'll just go to war, I guess. Call all of our allies in, because we have so many allies. And I figured they'd start attacking us. Can the infantry actually win by them? Can you guys actually win? Oh, hello. No, 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 no. You guys stop doing that. Go home. Don't die too hard. And then, bring on the spoils. While conquering and plundering the north, the expedition has acquired a great deal of resources which we, we could transfer back to Lost Hills Bunker. This could be vital for producing more equipment for wars in the future. Oh, Camp Nobles loses a lot. Also, oh, crap. Oh, we're going to lose that? Oh, we're actually going to lose that. Wow. Of course, I should show you overall. Eventually, brothers once more, we become the Western California state. So, yeah, we actually become the Western Brotherhood of Steel. So, so we'll see what happens. And hopefully, if the mod developer is watching, there's no guarantee that he is. But if he is watching, hopefully they can take ideas from this campaign and see if there's anything that doesn't seem to work quite right and that they can, I mean, he, she, whoever the team maybe can maybe fix things and tweak things out to make sure things are a little bit more uh, balanced and or uh, oh, just more logical, I guess. Not like there's illogical stuff in here, but just like in terms of AI and stuff like that too. You guys might want to hold on out, at least over here. I'm going to help if you guys help attack too, so... Yeah, because that's fine. That's fine over there. Yeah, you guys just hold. Don't worry about that. Oh, wait. Oh, we can actually see this. Look at that. We can actually see that. 370? 5,000 is not too bad. Let the power keep going. Let them attack us. It's fine with me. Port Maw. I mean, I don't know what's up with Port Maw, but they were not... Okay. They have plenty of... That. They have plenty of manpower. I guess I got rid of all... Most of the equipment. Not all of it, but most of it. Okay, well, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Let the power keep going. Power armor, I mean. Power armor. That's looking pretty good, too. And, uh, someone said that this mod, the Exile for Old World Blues, will be out of beta hopefully by the end of May. At least that's what the, the developer said. So, we'll obviously, if it is updated, it has fixed maybe a few things or just kind of have expanded content, especially for the Revenge or Permanent Exile path. I'll definitely come back to play this. So, salvage the economy. While we cannot bring the factories back over to California, we can salvage what we can and use it to provide the Western Brother with much needed industry. Sounds pretty good. Bayou Motors, very, very nice. Keep going in, guys, because you'll actually attract even more Washington Brother divisions this way, especially once the mall is completely done, so. No, 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 no. Want to help them out, guys? Want to help them out some more? Nice. We get a big old thing of infantry divisions now. If there's one extra one there, that's fine. Whatever. I don't really care. Keep pushing in, guys. You're doing great. Because once these guys are distracted enough and they're pushing over here a whole lot, then our infantry should do okay coming down here, too. At least that's the plan. Advanced tools are very good. And I don't want to forget. Let's keep going with more power armor because we definitely, 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 definitely need it. Oh, you guys are doing okay here. There we go. Downtown Portland. Well, I... Just saying, probably will never go there, but whatever. Um, they're moving out a little bit more, so now I think we should be good enough to hopefully attack and do okay here. Port Maw is gone, thank goodness. Goodbye, good riddance, and force the attack. Let's keep on going. Because then we'll go to war with the Timberline, too, because we need their territories. Because I would like to form the Empire of Steel by the time we're done here with this episode. So we can get some more manpower, too. Ah, let's get some of this, too. Yes. Salvaging the industry, very good. Remnants of the Crusade. The Crusade has become nothing more than <clears throat> a thing of the past. However, the men of the expedition recruited are still here. We can send them to the Western Brotherhood to fight in California. They're just going to die over there. There's nothing over there for them. Oh, well. Uh, guys, keep going. The infantry are doing great. You should do great as well. Be great. Do great. How much strength does the Washington Brotherhood have left? 18,000? 30 divisions? Stockpile for planes is not looking too good. A few anti tank things. Not bad. Not too shabby. So after this, we can actually see what we, how much PP we actually have. Keep going, Power Armor. You're doing a fantabulous job. You might have too many guys on a single part of the... Okay, i got to break you guys up. You guys can go there and do that if you really feel like it. Totally okay with that. S. Sorry, I gotta just remind myself out loud to do that. Cool. And, oh, I should have manually done that one. Okay, whatever. And then you guys, actually, I'm just gonna split you guys up into two. Like so. We have more than enough PP to do that. Daniel Steele. Very cool. Very cool. Go and grab some inspirational stuff. 
as well as Mysterious Stranger. Nice, nice, nice. And do that right there so they don't try to kill off our capital. That'd be very sadness. Very big sad. And boom, boom. And that's pretty good already, actually. Here, you can help out here, too. Why not? Keep going, power armor. Level 8 attack. My goodness, that's pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie. And then, new homes for old faces. Despite being allowed back home, most members of the expedition that came from Lost Hills are settling in Antioch near San Francisco. What does it get? We're just making them more powerful when we try to kill them off. Who dares wins? Nice. Anybody want to go to Cap Capitol Hill? No, okay. Advance. Well, actually, well, that's kind of a waste of a blueprint. Go ahead. Just go ahead and grab it. There you go. Good luck. Well, don't, these guys are still not super weak. I mean, we still got other stuff over here. But, where do we get done? Radar? Cool. Some more radar then. I actually threw it up here if you really want to use it. That's fine with me. It doesn't really matter too much at this point. You can use a few more energy cells though. That'd be pretty bueno. There you go, go in. Y'all are done. I don't believe you. How many divisions do these guys have? Since we can't go to war with them. Four? Wow, okay then. Um, I guess we'll go right there, too. Nice. Very nice. Northern Expedition's looking pretty good. Would y'all like to go in, please? We like Walla Walla. Walla 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 Bee. Keep going in, guys. Keep going in. New homes for old faces. Equipment from the Expedition. There's also an abundance of guns and other equipment that can be sent back to Lost Hills. Too bad it's not under our administration or friendly to us. That's probably one of the saddest things about it. Oh, well. There you go. And dive bombing. Put him in the place. Might as well. We'll go to Lost Hills, guys. <clears throat> They'll probably welcome us over there. Yeah, it's taking a while to get over here, too. But fine. It's fine. Whatever. Clarkston? Why not? Come on. Oh, wait. Is that not under us already? What the heck? Slowly running out of money, but whatever. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Are you? Oh, yeah, you did learn something. Nice. That's exactly why I waited for it. Good. Oh, my goodness. Enterprise? Yeah. Should be pretty soon in which we can capitulate these guys. Should be. One of these two guys. And Expedition Power Armor. The Expedition no longer has need of some of its power armor, so we will gladly send it down south. 450 units of T-51B power armor? Wow, we are just really wanting to hurt ourselves right now. Alright, so the temporal line is gone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And these guys should capitulate soon, too. They're giving us a run for our money right now, though. They yeah, still got good air superiority, though. Heavy Trooper open area tactics are very good. Let's grab some of that too. <clears throat> and they're done. Pretty darn decent, I would say. Alright, so proclaim the Empire Seal, guys. We're no longer shackled to tradition. we become greater than those who banished us and brought a new era of peace to those we rule. It is time to proclaim a new Empire, one made of blood and steel. Nice. I think that's pretty good. Oh, wow. Look at that flag. That's an awesome flag. So, uh, put them in their place. So, actually, that's really, really cool that we became that. Oh, look at that manpower. Actually, we're demobilizing a little bit more. That's not That's not good. And we're currently on knights. Okay, well, cool. And then brothers once more. The oh, well, country changes. Uh, I think I'm going to save that one for later, but I think I'm going to end it here. Um, let me know your thoughts so far about this mod and it potential I guess um, I think tomorrow will be the last episode of this just because there's really not much else to do I do want to kill off the NCR probably when the good award of the Legion but I guess we'll have to wait and see and I guess Lanius no longer exists so if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and I'll see you tomorrow as well finish out this campaign for now thanks for watching have a great rest of your day